look at the size of this thing. What a monster. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotic. Dave is in a 4x4 squared. It's a $300,000 off-road capable luxury Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. It's built like a tank. Look at this thing. Now, there's Dave's truck. This is a G63. It's tiny in comparison to a 4x4 squared. This thing is probably seven feet, no, probably higher, eight feet in the air. It's all eight feet tall, this thing. It's Do you love it? Massive. Do you feel like you're on top of the world? I literally own this garage right now. Seriously, I'm gonna build one today. Okay, so we're gonna take your truck. Yes, yes. You have a kit. I do. Instead of spending $300,000, you guys, we're gonna take Dave and turn it into this. A 4x4 off-road machine. An absolute monster. It's gonna have 35-inch tires by XCOM, full suspension, lift kit. And the best part, we're gonna protect his truck. We're gonna do a ceramic coating on it. This is gonna be amazing. You ever wondered how you can save a few dollars in the luxury market? Don't buy this. Buy one of these, and we'll transform it to look just like this. Today's video is gonna be nuts. We're gonna build this whole truck out to be coated, protected, and off-road capable. You guys better hang on, buckle up. This is $300,000. It doesn't even have as powerful of an engine as a G63 AMG does. Now, right. if you don't know, although jacked up and crazy, doesn't have the AMG treatment. Never did they make an AMG version of the 4x4 squared. This is technically a G550. So this truck comes with better performance brakes, better performance engine, and a much nicer interior and fit and feel. So if you take this and turn it into that, Dave, you're going to have the best truck on the freaking planet. 563 horsepower, jacked up. I can jump it and do whatever I want in this thing. You're going to jump it? You guys want to see him jump it? You guys are going to have to stick around to the end of the video okay, to see if Dave okay. will jump his truck. Before we get started today and start converting his truck to look like this truck, we're going to show you some really cool DIY tricks for protecting your vehicle. You might not have a professional install location near you. We'll show you how to do it ourselves with these hands, which do basically nothing. Dave and I have already have this masked off. Quickly ceramic coat one half of the vehicle. We're going to take it off-roading. It's super dirty. We're going to show you how impactful it is to ceramic coat your vehicle. Long term, it's going to save the shine the luster, the paint, bird poop with very acidic, Dave's poop, very acidic. Lattes. You go date a girl, don't call her the next day. She sees you at Starbucks. She shows the latte at your car. We're going to go through the whole gamut. Hey. That's your truck way down there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's way down there. Whoa, let me zoom in so you guys can see it because we're so freaking high up. What are you okay up there, sir? Well, I'm looking for a ladder because this is a long way down. I'm not a short guy, but I did legs today. Do it. Ah! Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Like a paratrooper. The old knees. All right, let's ceramic coat this thing. Not my truck, I pretend to kick it. Ready to do this, Dave? I've never installed anything myself. DIY. I heard this is a lot of fun though. You know why? Because the results are so gratifying. All right, guys, today's video is sponsored by Avalon King. This is a ceramic coating designed specifically for the at-home hobbyist. DIY kit, we're gonna show you how to use it. First of all, you're gonna wanna clean your vehicle. Avalon King has provided a car shampoo. We've already cleaned Dave's truck, but we've also gone ahead and cleaned the surface we'll be coating this vehicle on. You're gonna see by the time we're done this video, when we put a whole bunch of mud and dirt and coffee and different things on this surface, it's gonna run right off the coated areas. And then the areas we haven't coated, you're gonna see that it sticks to it. And that's what happens when you don't have a protected surface. Surface. There she is, she you guys. Pretty. She pretty. Even a moron like Damon can do this. So step one is you pull out the sponge. It gets wrapped by one of these applicator cloths. You tightly wrap that around. You're gonna pick one area of the vehicle to work Start on. Start at one end and work your way all the way down. This is the ceramic coating in the bottle. You're gonna take 10 to 12 drops. The next step is you're gonna pick one panel at a time and you're gonna start horizontally and then vertically. You're gonna coat this entire panel with ceramic coating. And then you're gonna let this sit for five minutes. Five minutes later. And then you're gonna go ahead and use this microfiber cloth. And you're gonna go and buff any residue off of that panel. We'll wipe away any leftover residue. And once we're done this panel, we're just gonna continue on and do the rest of the truck. 48 hours later. She should be all cured and ready for us to take out and abuse. This whole side is done. Avalon King, this side is not, not done. Look at the sheen on this side. And look how dull it looks on this side. 50% of the truck is done, including the glass. So you can use this on glass, and on rubber, plastic. You can do your wheels. Let's go beat the hell out of this truck and show you exactly what ceramic coating does. Proof is in the pudding. Mmm, little morning coffee for everybody. This is not something you'd want to pour on your paint and let sit here because it could eventually chew away your paint. Remember, this side's coated, this side is not. First of all, this is very hydrophobic this ceramic coating, which means it should, in theory, basically come right off. It's going to bead right off the car. Put a little on this side, not coated. It barely wants to go. Coated, it's repelling. And look, it's pushing it all away. Look at this. 
You can see the stream, look at the difference in the stream. Quick and all stuck all over the hood. And now you can really see the line in the center of the hood. You can see where the coffee has actually created a physical line. It's completely clean because it's all beaded off after a little bit of time. This is a really good demonstration, but we got more for you guys. So why don't we take this thing off-road and get it dirty. We're gonna show you by the end of this video how to take that truck and make it big and bad like this four by four squared. Save yourself about 150 Gs. Ooh, the cars are looking good today. I got the 720 out. Dave, let's get this thing dirty. Let's go four buying. Hardcore front four. You ready for this, guys? We're gonna I'm jump ready. it. A little bit nervous. You ready? Get this thing dirty, baby. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> You're an absolute maniac behind the wheel. That's only gonna get crazier once this thing's lifted. <laughs> Pretty sh kick. Okay, so remember, this is the side that we coated with Avalon King. This side is untreated. You can literally see the line, how the dirt sticks, but check this out, the uncoated side first. It is absolutely filthy. Dude, do you see this? He's ready. Just wait one second, we gotta show them. Everything's sticking. The wheels are absolutely filthy. Ready for this? The coated side. Seriously. Dude, it's like barely dirty. I wanna show them how this is like wax on steroids. You're gonna to wanna to watch the hydrophobicness of the ceramic coating by Avalon King. Look at that. Look at that. And it just beads off and falls off immediately and this just pools and stays there. Look at the difference. That's crazy. So it's hydrophobic, it's all beaten off, it's being repelled by the coating, and this is just one big sheet of water. It's gonna leave stains, watermarks, all the bad stuff. I'm really lazy, I really wash my cars. With this coating, you just rinse it. So easy! There's a link in the description. Link in description. If you ever wanted the magic of ceramic on your car, now's the time to do it. We put it to the test. This stuff, Avalon King yeah, is amazing. It's awesome. I'm actually really impressed. All right, he's gonna finish washing it, then we're gonna Why lift am I it. washing your Finish coffee? that, I'm gonna get the shop ready for the lift. The lift. G-Wagon square time, dude, ready for this one to jack up the G-Wagon. Jack it up this one? No, get this out of here, we're doing the G-Wagon. Could you imagine if we jack this up? You this? want to jack up a Lambo and do an off-road build, you guys. That's going down, we've talked to you about it, but this isn't gonna be the donor car by any means. You guys probably noticed that I had an engine light on. It's because the O2 sensors had the wire cut. So he's fishing around for that fix. By the way, the car's bulletproof, as you can tell. Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 Don't run me over. We gotta unbox this, you guys, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and it's all going in here, and it's gonna lift this thing up, and it's gonna be a goddamn monster on the channel. Goddamn yeah, monster! I'm excited, I wanna see what this looks like. We got all the goodies right in here. Fox! We got fox goodies. Forks, forks, this socks, a, fox. These are the Fox 2s from Agency Power that hooked it up. Cerner of Wizard for us for all that fluid. Hey, those sons of Jack it up, jack it up. Do, 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 do. Hydraulics, right? It's gonna go up and down, bounce. With the Fox suspension, Fox 2s, agency power springs that give us the lift. Front Fox stabilizer bar makes the steering tight. Apparently we lift these things to get a little bit loo loose. And we have wheel spacers. Holy One inch and one quarter wheel spacers. These are the proper ones. These are actually pretty expensive. This is a safe way of doing it. We're actually bolts on and then it has new spots for the old lug nuts. So you're gonna keep these wheels and these wheels are gonna come out. These are like a 32 inch all-terrain tire and X-Comp sent us 35 inch mud tires. These big knobby mud tires that throw mud everywhere. Well, let's open this all up. I wanna see what's in all these. Someone's losing a finger in the unboxing so process here. You got so many muscles now that you've been working out. That's fair. Oh yeah. Yeah. Old man. <laughs> Look at these. Damon's. Size was crap. <laughs> We're used to supercars, dude. <laughs> these are freaking heavy. <sighs> oh, Gaines. <laughs> Gainesville. You want to see me do it with my thighs? I've been doing exercises at the gym. 30th birthday a few months ago. Eric, my 30th birthday. The dirty 30. You're 37. Holy no. You're 37. Oh, he made you a steering wheel? Yeah, so I took a 2020 G-Wagon steering wheel and modified it with the carbon as well as the silver 12 o'clock stripe to match my G-Wagon. Dude, that's pretty sick. You know what people would say? Too nice for Dave. Oh, 
we got the unboxing part done and pow! Look at this. Dude, this thing is gonna be so huge. I don't understand where all of this is gonna go and all of that. This comes up to my knee. This is a big spring, bro. All right, you guys, we finally have the truck on the hoist. We're gonna walk you through how to do your own four by four square build. We're going with the back springs first. Based on my technical master mechanic skills, I'm thinking we're putting these bad boys in first. We is. Yes! We is. So there's yes. a factory spring there. <laughs> Look how thick that is. So we're supporting the differential, it doesn't fall down. We're gonna rip out the spring, the struts. Two shock bolts, take your brake bracket off there just so it doesn't uh, stress out and hang. And then just keep mindful of any of your other wires. Do that and mindful. That's a new concept for you. Ah. Rip them out. <laughs> Rip them <laughs> out. Look at them. Bear pawn this shit out of this thing. <laughs> Let me know if I need to bring in the gun show here. Bam on that spring. Pops out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go, test fitting. Got any spring lube <laughs> yeah. around here? Yeah, I'll get my bottle of spring lube. Ooh. Oh, see, that worked. That worked, thank you. All right, springs are in, shocks coming out, and Damon, the big DIY guy, already replaced this one for me. I just did this one. That's how I do it. You might want to strap no, that somewhere. No, I really like the hanging one. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I'll show you how this works. These are really cool. These from h and R. One here, line it up. These will bolt in there. Lug nuts. We'll literally bolt to the hub separately, and then you'll use the existing hardware to bolt the wheel to these threads. I know today's all about your G-Wagon. I got some craziness for you. You guys ready for this? I have a smashed windshield. In fact, this has been cracked for a little while because I got a rock chip here, and then it went all the way up this side. It goes yeah. all the way along here. It's cracked down here, and it goes up, so I have a big U. I just went and got a quote on this. This is $7,000 before tax. Lamborghini tax. Prices went up. Two years ago, it was about $5,500. So, $7,000 thousand dollars like this you can go to shopdd.com pick yourself up some dd merch classic tricolor hat hoodie t-shirt or key tag like the one in my pocket helps fund the channel you know people think because we're youtubers everything's sponsored everything's free 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 it's not we buy a lot of this stuff in fact dave bought the suspension for his truck I links do. in description rep the merch when i see you out i give you lots of love when you're wearing the merch Placing the stabilizer with this big box one from that little one. Dampen the effect of those big tires. Sometimes with mud tires, you get a bit of a vibration. Do you wait? Go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love this part. This massive ball joint, old school, like 60 technology, with this huge AMG brake. <laughs> oh! To make sure you boys roll up. Hot jambalaya. Oh, the final piece of this whole puzzle just showed up. You guys, we've been waiting for the tires. That's right, right there are Dave's brand new tires. New tire uh, reveal on DDE. That's amazing. New tires by x -Pump. Dude. Those are big. Those are big. Those are, those are significantly bigger than the little ones. Once those are on, that's gonna get you that extra inch and a half. Dude, this is melt up. You think this small princess Starbucks cruiser is gonna make it through the parking lot? Should make it through the parking lot. I wanna like literally do something crazy to do. This is the big reveal. Dave's truck is done and he's in it and pulling it out. And it is an absolute monster. Look at the size of this thing. It's only a little bit smaller than an actual 4x4 square. Pretty massive. Look at the size of the tires. Definitely stick out further. Spot now. Thing's cool, man. I like it. I need you to drive up and over this. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Come at me. Come at me. Holy oh, this is amazing. Drove the tire right through the center of it. Jesus. Hayden, you've created a monster. Seriously, the suspension's so nice. Like, it's soft now, so actually when it doesn't hurt. The factory suspension in this thing was brutal. It's the most extreme off-roading spot in Cologne. I want to go there and do some rock calling. Like the crazy, For you? Crazy. For you? Crazy. Oh yeah! Look at that flat. You coming, you coming, you coming, you coming. To the, turn to the right. You coming, go. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. 
<laughs> oh, you're flexing, bro. I don't know, man. You got a winch. He might be stuck. Look at this whole side of the truck. The wheels open, bro. Fit a whole head in here. Jeez. Oh, we got a full tuck. We got actually we got we got contact here. Contact. Full contact. <laughs> Thank you to Agency Power, the epic suspension, X comp for the tires. Two wagon is super sick now. And well, what's left to do but go for an epic off-road journey, the most extreme off-roading you have ever seen ever. Ever, 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 ever. Sure. Big contact. Let's see. Dude! This is crazy. We're at the mall here in Kelowna doing some off roading. The G Wagon. What were you expecting, you guys? Crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at the wheel. If you're a hardcore off-roader, you'll find this really annoying. This perfect off-roading spot is at these stupid barriers, so you can't get to all the cool spots. So far, we're going on the G-Wagon. And that's it, you guys. The G-Wagon is done. Now, for comparison, if you want to see the difference between stock and obviously not stock, look at the difference in size now. Get back up here on the street, not get hit by a car. As you can tell, it is definitely beefier, it's crazier. Huge thank you to Avalon King for sponsoring today's video. Protect your paint, it's like a condom for your car. It's super cheap, you can do it yourself. You have a massive discount, $25 off. Grab some Avalon King, protect your ride, it's definitely worth it. Let the G super easy to clean as you can see from before and after. Smash the subscribe button, see you next video. The new Gs have um, independent, independent suspension, so. They're soft. Yeah, They're soft. like you. Actually, you know what? I've lost some body fat, Damon. I'm getting, I'm getting a chest almost, getting some muscles almost. That a guy? That a guy? Yeah, you're looking good too, buddy. Yeah, well, you know, that's what happens when you cut out pizza at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Pillsbury Doughboy anymore.